Hi, I'm Dan Collins, a Sacramento, California licensed real estate broker with expertise in real property matters involving probates and trusts. I am also a California licensed general contractor and court appointed receiver for the Superior Court. If you have found yourself tasked with being an executor, administering a probate, or a trustee of a trust estate, I can help you effectively execute your duties that attorneys do not help you with. To learn more, please visit my website, probate-realtor.biz. The title of today's video is Nobody's Home because our subject is about insuring real property in an estate when the property is vacant. Properly insuring a vacant home or income property is one of the riskiest areas of fiduciary responsibility where an estate executor of a probate or a trustee of a trust has fiduciary liability. If you serve as a probate administrator or a trustee, you have a fiduciary obligation to properly insure that high value asset, real property. Your insurance carrier for the home or building that is vacant must be told within 30 days of a property becoming vacant that it is not occupied, or you risk not having otherwise insurable losses covered if you submit a claim. A phone call to your insurance agent informing them the property is or will be vacant is all that's required. You may ask, is it more expensive to insure a home that's vacant? Actually, yes it can be because fire, vandalism, and burglaries, amongst other bad things, are more likely to happen when nobody's home. If no one lives in the property and a water pipe breaks, it may be days or longer before it is discovered. Whereas, if a pipe breaks in a property that is occupied, it may be hours, but it will be discovered usually quickly. So, remember, if a home or an income property is vacant, you must have proper insurance coverage in place. It is critical to inform the insurance carrier that the home or income property is vacant, and that includes vacancy between tenants for income properties. I recently served as a fiduciary broker in an estate that included a single family home in San Francisco where the decedent had lived. The trustee hired me in my capacity as a fiduciary broker to market the property for sale and to assist her in properly covering all the necessary matters of responsibility required from a person who administers an estate. The first piece of advice I gave the new trustee was to call the insurance broker to inform him or her that the home was vacant. The trustee looked through all the files in the home and she could not find any evidence in the decedent's records that the property was insured. In fact, it turned out the property wasn't insured at all. Believe it or not, that is not uncommon. The decedent had no mortgage on the property. She owned it free and clear of debt. Retired people often own their homes outright, free of debt. And it is not uncommon that over time, insurance policies may lapse and older people forget to replace insurance policies to protect their homes. I had the property appraised, which is a good idea for many reasons when administering an estate, and the value exceeded $1.5 million. If there had been a catastrophic loss such as a fire and the home had burned down, there would have been no insurance policy in place to replace that valuable asset. I made certain the new insurance policy covered the home as a vacant structure because if that information had not been provided to the insurance broker, the new insurance policy would not have covered the home if it burned down. My name is Dan Collins. I act as a fiduciary broker in probates and trusts that involve real property assets. To learn more, please visit my website, probate-realtor.biz. Thank you for joining me today.